स्टार्ट पढ़ना सर Good morning, uh, Yes. Good morning to everyone who is there with us today, this morning. Um, thank you all for joining us today. And this is Team 17 of the 50 okay, Team. I've already started. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good morning again, Ranganathan here. This morning on team 17 of the 50 teams we are planning for this 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations 
between Japan and India, which was signed in 1952. Okay. Today's topic will be, uh, as I show you today now, horses of Japan through stamps. Horse is just an animal. Why we should spend the will be surprised to see the amount of stamps Japan has released on horses because horse has been playing a very good and important role in Japanese life. So horses of Japan is uh, today's topic. Now, if you see, horse has been an integral part of Japanese society for many centuries. From antiquity, the Japanese worshipped horse as a god. They believed that the divine spirit appeared in the human world on a horseback and horses were sometimes offered to shrines for coming of the gods. Okay, uh, Like what we are sometimes, even in Indian, they think, uh, people give sheep, goat, thing to the temples in the villages. Same way, horses have been offered to the villages, to the gods in the temple. Evidence indicates that horse has been first harnessed in Japan during the late 14th century AD, during the Kofun period, that is led third through the late 6th century AD. What is a Kofun? I will show you the next slide. If you look at this slide on the left hand side, and one side of the thing on the corner, you will see here a horse's figure made of uh, clay, which is called a Haniwa, which is buried in those days in this Kofun. The Kofun is shown on the other side. Kofun is a burial mound. Okay. Kofun is an ancient grave or magnolithic tomb and they're mainly constructed in the Japanese archipelago between the middle of the 3rd century and the 7th century. See, the Kofun tumuli have assumed various shapes through history. The most common type of Kofun is shaped like a keyhole having one square at one end and one circular on the other end when viewed from above. Aniwa, the terracotta figures made of clay and burnt. Okay? Warriors and horses were managed or arranged above the surrounding to delimit and protect the sacred areas of these kofuns. Now you can see this stamp is also a terracotta figure which was released in the year 19. 76 on January 25th. Sam size is 22 by 25.5 millimeters. It's a red and orange. Those days, it is a monocolor stamps, not the multicolor stamp. And uh, this stamp doesn't have a watermark. It's a definitive. That's a common stamp that they post on covers and sell. And it's a photograph of your thing, value 20, 200 yen. Now, horses were, were not native to Japan. Not only did horses have to be imported from the Korean Peninsula, but equestrian specialists also had to be invited in order to raise and reproduce horses in Japan. The adoption of the practice of horse riding as a system has been a very important subject to the Kofun period archaeology. At first, horse trappings have to be imported, and the local Japanese production started after the end of the 5th century. Again, you can see here, I have there are three stamps, all Aniwa, all together. They're not set in it the same, but they're patched stamps. And on top, again, you see a different thing. In 1974, this warrior Aniwa was made. So these have been into the uh, stamps. The details of the stamps are given below. And one is um, 39 by 28 millimeters. With the exception of racehorses, the horse is slowly disappearing from the Japanese landscape. Okay. Well, horses played one an important role in transportation, postal services, agriculture, and military. Today, those functions are performed primarily by missions. Now, if you see the stamp down below, the central post office in Tokyo by Hiroshige, you can see a postman coming on this horse at the background. In the foreground, you can see the, uh, the rickshaw. And then the man is collecting a mail. So that is a stamp which was released in 1970, 28 by 20, 39 millimeter stamp. And uh, it's a commemorative stamp. 
and it is a multicolored stamp. Okay. Emperor Uda ordered Minamoto no Yoshiari to establish the arts of archery, horsemanship, and courtesy in 1896. Yabusume, Yabusume is the archery on a horseback. It was performed as a practical horseback archery in the Heian period, uh, as written in 1096 in the diary of Kyuki. It became popular to dedicate martial arts displays at shrines among Kamankura samurai who respected military powers and arms. Yabusume features shooting kaburaya, kaburaya whistling arrows, fast moving arrows, while riding on a horseback. It is traditional riding technique in Japan that is originally performed as a form of mounted archery, but also became associated with ritual events in the shrines. The horse has played a very important role in uh, the religion in Japan because the horses are thought to be animal messengers that gods ride when coming and down to human world. There are many Shinto rituals. Shinto is a native religion of Japan, like uh, our Hinduism or um, the Egyptian ancient Egyptian or uh, even uh, the Latinos uh, thing where God was a part of the uh, thing. Now, after that, we have got messengers and me messiahs who have come. But the Shinto believed in gods, and there was a god for everything. They say there are something like 3,600 gods are there in Shinto. There are many Shinto rituals that use horses. Thus, a deep relationship exists between horses and shrines. Since horses also closely linked with people's lives for transportation, farming, and so on, People took good care of them. Consequently, there are Shinto rituals which people focus on horses. One such ritual is Awo Uma Shinji. Awo is blue and Uma is horse. Shinji is a, a, a sort of a festival held as a Tumiyoshi Taisha shrine. Two white horses are brought to each of the main shrines. It is said those who see the blue horse having a black and bluish color at the beginning of the year, will be free of evil spirits for the year and enjoy longevity. Although white horses are replaced blue and gray ones, they are still called as Aoma or the blue horses. So white horses are there in the Shinto thing. If you look at this, this is an ancient Ise Jingu, Ise shrine. Okay? In the Ise shrine, there is a ritual. There is a ritual called Shinme Kanzen. Uh, Shinme Kanzen is referring to honor of seeking a sacred horse at the Issei Jingu shrine. It is considered good luck to see a sacred horse led by a Shinto priest to both inner and outer shrines early in the morning of the day. So you can always see people waiting there to see a white horse being led by the priest. You can see the picture here that is taken in Issei Jingu. Now, Emma, horse pictures. If you see, this is uh, what in the wooden blocks, people write their wishes and hang them in the Shinto shrines. This wooden blocks called Emma are picture horses or small wooden plates common to Japan in which Shinto and Buddhist worshippers write prayers or wishes. Emma are left hanging in the shrine where the kami, the spirit of gods, is believed to receive them. The ancient times, people would donate horses to the shrines for a good favor. Over the time, this is transferred to wooden plate with picture of the horse, and later still to various wooden plates sold today for the same purpose. Not necessarily hearts, but all other things are there. Once inscribed with a wish, the emma are hung in the shrine until they are ritually burned at special event. Symbolic, the liberation, the liberation of the wish of the writer, from the writer. Nihon Shoki, Chronicles of Japan, our entry is an entry for the year 1679, described Urabe Uma as a horse race held in appreciation of fleet-footed horses. Now this stamp on the right-hand side, 62 year stamp, is a Kurabe Uma stamp that was released in the year 1990, uh, September 27. 28 by 37 millimeters 
It's a multicolor stamp, commemorative. It's a Korogaya uh, stamp. You can see the arts of the thing. On the left hand side, you can see it's a Shinto thing. You can see the big Turi, the red entrance gate at the back. The event through to this event of Kurobeuma is thought to be the origin of the practice in Japan. Later in Heian period, races became a part of annual Tango no Seku, modern boys festival in the month of May. It's called Tango no Seku and were performed a shrine. In fact, horse racing takes place every May. Horse racing is a favorite uh, gambling today in Japan, accepted and approved by the government. The famous Aoi Matsuri, Aoi festival, is held in Kyoto on May 15, recreating the noble Heian period procession of imperial messenger and an imperial princess serving a ceremonial priestess as they make their way to Kamo shrines. Okay, uh, the stride and said you can see the Hasa racing in the Aoi Matsuri, uh, the, that's Korobe Uma like what I, we have said in the previous thing, the horse racing during the Shinto uh, festival. These two are Korobeoma festival stamp. And even before this important day, where uh, there are very influential rituals held starting in the first May. And uh, one of these rituals is also called the Kamo Korobeoma, Kamo Shrine Korobeoma. You can see the uh, Saturn and pair of stamp. That is there. Now, this is uh, ATN, two Saturn and pair stamps, and Kurobe Zubuyotsu, and one and two. And the size, though it's written vertical, now I got a horizontal pair, so it doesn't matter. 30 by 42.0 millimeters. The same thing as a strip, I got it there. Now, this is a sheet that you have seen. First held in 1093, the Kamo Korobeoma is said to be the origin of horse racing in Japan. Unlike modern horse races, however, the two horses, this is very interesting, you should know, two horses of the Kamo Korobeoma do not start at the same location and race to see who will cross the finish line first. The, with two teams, the Sakata, the wearing vermilion, traditionally representing the Kamigomo Shrine, and Okata wearing the black and brown, the traditional representing Iwashimizu Achimangu. And one horse starts a decided link in front of the other. And the winner is decided based on whether the distance between the horses is shortened or elongated by the end of the race. If the second horse which has started, it is caught up, then they, that's considered to be a winner. The horse that is running in the front, if they're still maintaining their lead, then they are the winners. It's a very uh, different way of looking at the uh, winning post uh, situation. Now, there is a festival called the Fukushima Soma Navum Navomai Festival. The stamp was released under the theme Festival Series on 16th of July 1965. Over 1000 years old, Soma Navomai is a celebration of martial skills and horse riding. After 2011, it has also become a symbol of resilience and survival of the people of Soma. It usually takes place on the last Saturday and Sunday and Monday in July. Three most important events in the festivals are the procession of horse riders in full samurai gear, the main horse racing event, the horse capturing ritual. The three-day festival takes place in Soma district, which has long been a horse breeding region. The Soma Naomai event began as a military exercise organized by the founder of the Soma clan. That's why they are in some samurai gear, uh, recalling the olden days. Japanese samurai for centuries were the only warriors allowed to ride uh, horses into battle. A native breed. Of course, uh, though Japan imported things, they also had their own native breed called Kiso. It was born, it was chosen, born for samurai because this breeds quickness and hardiness. Samurai fought with swords, spears, and arrows from horseback in battles. The tradition of using horses in war continued into 1940s in Japan. After World War II, the native horse beast breeds suffered 
and the breeds continue to decline in the modern day Japan. Mon Minamoto Yoritomo, founder of the Bakufu, or the Shogunate, or the, what you call as a, a military tenth government, is what they call a system whereby Chudo Royals Lords ruled Japan for almost 700 years. Most Japanese horses are descended from Chinese and Korean imports, and there is some crossbreeding with indigenous horses, which has existed in Japan during since Stone Age. Although records of horses in Japan are found as far as back as Jomon period, they played little or no role in early Japanese agriculture or military conflict until horses from the continent were introduced in the fourth century. The Kojiki and Nihon Shoki mention horse battles. Now, Yamamoto Yoritomo's, uh, Minamoto Yoritomo's picture has come as a stamp. Okay, you can see the Mount Fuji at the back. This stamp was released on the top, 1999, September 2nd. It's a multicolor, 26 by 36 millimeters. The bottom one is horizontal format, a 60-inch stamp. It shows Oritome in a cave by Seizan Maeda has done this uh, drawing. This was released in 1962. Sorry. And then February 25th. Uh, 51 millimeters by 31 millimeters. It's again a commemorative stamp. And you can see both the stamps show uh, Yoritoma. Samurai fought as cavalry for many centuries and horses were used both as draft animals and for war. The increasingly elaborate decorations on harness and saddles for the samurai suggest the value accorded to these war horses were or wild horses which were trapped and tamed. You can see a wild horse running around and they tamed them. Now you can see the samurai and the big sheet, which is a 400 years uh, thing, which is released on 2003. That shows samurai in full gear and the tame horse is riding uh, and how they capture wild animal uh, horses and trap them and tame them for the samurai to ride them. The other stamp is also from a part of this big sheet, 2003, May 23, and it's a commemorative stamp, 28 by 37 millimeters, one uh, single stamp, and uh, that's what it is. Since that time, horses played an important role in Japanese culture. Horses were widely used in warfare until the introduction of firearms in the late 16th century. And horsemanship was uh, one of the skills prized by the warriors who founded samurai class. Horses had an important symbolic role in Japanese religion. And even today, in certain shrines, a sacred white horse is stabled. Story on spear of samurai, okay. Kuroda Bushi, song of Kuroda the samurai, Bushi is samurai, is a Minyo folk song of the Fukuoka prefecture that tells a tale of a warrior, Mori Tahei, who was sent as a messenger to General Masanori, who challenged him to drink a large bowl of sake. Initially refusing, Tahe was eventually swayed by Masanori's offer to give him anything he wanted as a gift. Everybody was pricing, I mean, they were looking at uh, the sphere uh, the, given, by, given to Masanori by the great shogun Hideyoshi, okay? So they, they had, uh, so Tahai wanted to uh, get that spear. So he has given a challenge to drink a big bowl of sake. So he drank the sake one gulp and claimed that spear as a prize, which surprised even Masanori, the general. The samurai were particularly skilled in the art of using archery on horseback. The, you can see a samurai full gear on the right hand side stamp, ATM stamp. Okay. Methods are using training as Yabusume, which originated 5530 AD and reached the peak under Minamoto no Yoritomo and uh, in the Kamakura period. The conventions of warfare in Japan switched from emphasis on mounted bowmen to mounted spearmen during the Sengoku period. Sengoku period is uh, supposed to be an era of wars. There were so many wars fought within Japanese history in the Sengoku period. 
amongst the samurai, Tokugawa Ieyasu was known as an excellent horseman. In the pre-Meiji Japan, horses were considered as a context of warfare and transportation of cargo. As a general rule, non-samurai women did not ride in a saddle as this was reserved for samurai warriors. Now down below I shown you a picture of a lady on a horseback. Okay, this is much later this camp was released. So even ladies started riding. Today even women ride horses, especially in the competitions. The appearance of women and non-samurai horseback in Meiji period prints represented a development in the thinking. Now, although there is still some controversy over the subject, we generally believe horses did not exist in Japan during the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic period, Sone, Jomon period, Doye, Yeras. It is also believed that Japanese native horses are descended from animals fought from mainland of Asia and various times and by various routes. Domestic horses were definitely present in Japan as early as 6th century and perhaps as early as 4th century. If you look at this big stamp sheet, the letter writing day 2000, which we have talked about, you can see a ATN stamp. There's a girl sitting on a horseback. That is a Japanese native horse. A horse stock built and short, the shorter legs but supposed to be running very fast and very sturdy. Now, due to the trend among samurai to keep fine horses, stables, Uma, Uma is Arthur, Uma Azu, you can not only places to keep horses, but nicely built and maintain places for social interaction where the owner's proud horses were tickered. It is believed that the representation of proud horses in the stable became a separate popular motive of the age of civil wars. The Umayyads, the pictures are stable, can be roughly divided into two categories, those depicting only seated horses without people and those with horses and people having fun in front of the stable. Now, this is a beautiful stamp. You know, it's a certain uh, stamp. You can see uh, there are five different type of horses. Uh, and uh, this stamp was released in 1990. June 20th, okay, uh, stamp size is 108 by 51 millimeters, multicolor, commemorative photo group printed, and each stamp is 62 years. Now, if you look at this one, I got a first day cover with the stamp of uh, this, very thing, and I've shown also another, uh, the same stamp, but with margins, with margins and printed. That's what the one on top, getting a stamp like that with margin is good. And then down below, each one stamp is 22 by 51 millimeter. Same uh, printed here is the same. And again, a photo, 62 and stamp, the size is 22 by 51. And then this is a, uh, when they release such a stamp, they also have released an information sheet. The information sheet, with stamp date stamped is uh, there on the date of release, June the second. The, the twenty is uh, uh, Japanese uh, date of Japanese uh, year, and then same uh, five certain and pair has been stamped on the day of release, and it's also there. Now a warrior by a warrior on horseback or horse drawn chariot change the balance between. Civilizations. When people with horses clash with those without, horses provide a huge advantage. When both sides have horses, battles turn on the strength and strategy of the mounted horsemen or cavalry. Military tactics were refined in terms of use of horses, which are called as cavalry um, tactics. As most of the culture, uh, cultures, a war horse in East Asia was trained to be controlled with a limited use of reins, responding primarily to the rider's legs and weight. So you cannot be always pulling the like a uh, uh, race horse. The people, the war horses were treated differently and they were also made to run differently. You can see the native Japanese heart, the stamp, in the sheet and also separately. And this is a separate sheet. It's 28 by 37 millimeters and uh, 
I have shown that here. Throughout the centuries, since horses were introduced, various breeds of horses developed in Japan, each adapting to a total environment. These horses were in general relatively small. Various rulers and powerful leaders attempted to increase their size and strength by selective breeding and by importing foreign horses. Especially during the Meiji era, larger purebred horses from Europe and North America were imported to increase the size of the Japanese horse and make them more suitable for military use. The goal was to motivate farmers to breed larger horses to ensure there is a continuous steady flow or a supply for the army. The result of these many importations was the almost total disappearance of local Japanese breed, except for very remote areas on the island. Asked by Tsushio Nishima makes me recall an interesting episode about an emperor Stalin. Period and during the World War II, Japanese Emperor Hirohito was shown in photos on newsreels riding a very beautiful white stallion in front of his throat. This is what I've taken uh, from an article in the magazine uh, written by somebody in life. So uh, you can see the life magazine cover where the emperor is riding a white horse. Okay. The Japanese tradition viewed uh, to be a royal family as a direct descendant of sun goddess. In 1880, the Meiji emperor graciously received President Ulias's grant as a state guest. Upon the president's return, he ordered a magnificent stallion to be sent to the emperor. Okay. The jet black horse was described as the most beautiful horse that men has ever laid his hands upon. The equestrian alliance continued into 20th century when Shiroyuki White Snow, uh, Shiroi is white, Yuki is snow, White Snow, picture being written by, written by Hirohito, this is a, a ship to Japan from California. Early in the war, United States Admiral William Bull, what you call Bull, basically wrote that one day, this is a very interesting story again, he would ride Hirohito's White Horse through the streets of Tokyo. This soon became a rallying cry in USA. USA people started saying, okay, okay, ride the white horse, ride the white horse became a call. At the end of the war, the public were clamoring for Admiral Hazley to ride Emperor Zero's horse as promised. Hazley did ride the horse at the end of the Japanese surrender, but it was an Emperor Hirohito's white stallion, which remained a private property of the Emperor. Instead, he rode another horse that was supplied by Major General William Chase, the commander of the 1st Cavalry Regiment. After reviewing the honor guard of the 1st Cavalry Regiment, he mounted the horse and rode slowly on the Baiko area in the outskirts of Tokyo. On January 2, 1946, disappointed Americans read hastily, will never ride the white horse except on imperial invitation. Nor was the Admiral able to redeem his pledge even at a later date. Okay. This set of saddles, which you see here, the set of saddles and syrup, made in 16th century, is covered in gleaming black lacquer. Urushi is what they call a lacquer. It is a resin from a tree, and the Urushi collection is very difficult. There are specialist people who collect the lacquer, and people, the specialist people are the ones who know how to apply the lacquer. Gleaming black lacquer with Makiya relief design of reed heads uh, waving in the wind. Uh, sorry, I, I do not know much about this, but Makiya made by drying a design lacquer and then sprinkling gold powder on it before the lacquer dry. Such techniques were used on saddlery in the olden days, and saddlery conveyed the status of a samurai in the battlefield. The saddlery set is thought to have belonged to. Toyotume Hideyoshi, a great warrior lord who unified Japan in the late 16th century as under the drawing of the design and that has his name on it. People have also suggested the design was created by Kanto Eitoku, the most renowned artist of the day. The saddle's bold design combines aesthetic sensibility of the warrior who created this during the warring time. Now, 
the 16th century lacquered syrup they were given by means of some uh, saturnant and individual stamp okay if you look at the individual stamp this stamp was released in 1990 uh, july 31st the size is 37 by 28 mm multi color stamp this two single stamp and the saturnant stamp is uh, again multi color and it's a saturnant the same day it was released but the size is 74 by 28 the individual stamps the stamps are 37 by 28 so it becomes 74 by 28 so that is the stamp uh, these stamps showed this uh, saddles so i just wanted to give you the background about the saddles at the, that the 16th century lacquered stirrups that are shown here on this born on the sado island For the course of Niigata Prefecture, Sasaki Shodo studied last wax casting and the Mito Rondo. Later, pupil of Oshima Jon, he also joined with Katori Ozuma and Sendoku to form the artist group of Saisei Kai. Sasaki Shodo exhibited widely many art exhibitions. Considering one of the greatest, most innovative Japanese artists working in bronze, the first of 20th century. He was designated Jiyo Miyoki Bunzai or imported intangible cultural asset, commonly referred as Neonjin Kokuo, Living National Treasure in 19th. His work widely collected museums in Japan. One of his work is, you can see here, called Kete by Sasaki Shodo. That is Sasaki Shodo's work made. It's a, a beautiful black bronze statue. It's been made. and it is the stamp was released in 1990 september 27 this is a serious set of stamps on that date was released it's uh, one of the multi color commemorative ordinary gum and 62 ends so sasaki shodo was a great artist accepted and he was a national living national treasure that is his work and then horses have been a part of japan post system this is a postal card you can see You have man riding on the horse and collecting. Another one is also horse coach of the postal system. Any any we have initially I have talked that Ikea could the mail there delivered in London in Edo period. System was replaced by postman horseback. Okay, angel sitting on horseback. You can see this one down below. Horseback indicates the speed of postal system. Angel sitting on a horseback with postback becomes a symbol on stamps. The picture of these horse drawn carriages by Kubota was taken from his scroll. He had a scroll, and that that top right hand side painting was uh, the details are given there. Now, if you look at this letter writing day as a souvenir sheet, the letter writing day, uh, the souvenir sheet, the sheet is in 1976 as a prize of the lottery to some greeting postal cards. But for the first time in a year, it is also sold in post office. That's a speciality of this. The earlier you have a um, every year January first, you have the New Year greeting that is being sent to people. For that, you buy a special stamp, and then there is a lottery. They select a lottery, and you get this only by way of lottery. For the first time, they sold this letter writing day. For the first time, they showed this and sold this in post office. Beside the souvenir sheet. For the 1990 contains only one stamp, 62N letter writing day issue, whereas the previous ones always had two stamps, the fairy and the horse. New image character of the postal services is depicted both in, 19, in the 62N stamp and in the margin. That's what it is. Postal carriages drawn by horses. Was the order of the day before postal vans were introduced? The Saturn and Sam by Kubota is from his scroll. Please down below you can see the Kubota scroll. Uh, there's a Saturn and thing showing horse-drawn carriages for postal service. So, then this is with a gutter in the middle. You can see with a margin and a gutter. That's a Saturn and pair I've got and I show. And the top you can see the Saturn and the stamp. Has drawn post carried by the uh, person Kubota, and and then you can see 
this again stamp in stamp you can see uh, with a gutter pair shows horse drawn carriages for the postal services lacquer writing set with a horse design so they used to have a lacquer writing set is a set of box called uh, suzuri bako normally comprises of a box and a decorated cover a metal water pot and ink stone the box was beautifully on a had a beautiful horse on top of the cover so this also was one of the there was a series of stamps they produced in the year 1990 1991 and um, this is the lacquer design cover the box cover you can see the box there and uh, 37 by 28 mm 1991 and uh, january 31st the number of ukiyoe have horses as a part of them and we will see a few of them here the ukiyoe which is part of horse awesome and culture series as a great hokusai is 36 views of mount fuji okay saigo was one of the four top disciples of ashimoto goho and his masterpiece shudan okay 170 Uh, centimeters divided by uh, by 270.8 cm which depicts white horse blooming in the white poppy flower you can see this uh, down below these are artists unfortunately uh, i think he had a premature i mean he died young like our great mathematician ramanuja okay which depicts and uh, that's a white horse you can see rarely and again the white poppy flower this symbolic the mystical atmosphere and the charm that attracts viewers his work in 1897 was first to have been drawn at the time when saigo ko had a must fulfilling painting skills uh, that is the stamp of the work so his work is on the left his stamp is on the right spring warm by shudan by saigo uh, artist saigo is you can see the 62 inch stamp which was released on 1991 February 28th photograph you it's a commemorative stamp that is done by 28 mm and on top of that uh, by hook size hearts uh, by 36 views sinju musashi province by hook size you can see mount fuji between the two pillars okay this is 1991 february 28th this is also released so this is the two stamps i want to show you here and these are number of stamps by hoxai one on the top is the international letter writing day released in 1966 october 6 39 by 28 mm and then the next one is uh, shows you bank of japan near uh, itabashi in no by inoue uh, this is on 1962 october 12 this is released same that is this by 26 mm the last horse drawn okay railroad or track the stamp on the right you can see okay horse drawn thing which is 1921 october uh, 6 but actual in ginza that is how horse drawn trams are running so i put a photograph of the horse drawn tram of that page which also you can see as a, a stamp of 60 uh, 50 ns Uh, here for return for in, uh, made for international letter writing week in 1971 and then 33 stations of tokaido by utagawa hiroshige 45th station so travelers surprised by sudden rain is um, there this is released in 2002 october 7 it's a multicolor commemorative stamp and then um, the next one is 53 station by tokaido again by uh, same artist fifth station totsuka 1880 1833 and 1834 that's a period we were there now if you look at the stamp okay they are all waiting in front of a uh, totsuka inn so 2002 october 7 okay, it's a commemorative stamp of that period the next one is 53 stations of tokaido by utagawa hiroshige 45 station miya So you can see uh, these are stamps which are related to art there are a few more of them on the ukiyo but i just collected them <clears throat> now if you see 
we had the Philon Nippon, Japan World Stamp Exhibition is called Philon, Philately Nippon, it's Philon Nippon that they have. And the Philon Nippon had a external, I mean, a extraordinary sheet of uh, um, size paintings uh, with a small stub also attached to that. So uh, with the labels, what they call it, the stub is called as labels. And then you can see them as a sheet. I'll just, the full sheet is a multicolor 2011, July 28th, it is released. And then uh, it has got 10 stamps, each of ATNs. And this is printed by offset lithography with a comb of uh, 13. Now I just taken two of the stamps, ATNs, and uh, showed you the settlement with the label, the so multicolor, and then 38 by 28, 2011, 7th July, uh, 7th uh, July, 28. The same sheet, so the individual stamps uh, details are uh, given here. <coughs> All three stamps with the labels are 67 millimeters wide. The, the previous, whichever has got a label, it's got a 67 uh, millimeters wide because Label width is also included. Stamp and Slovenia sheet issued on 23rd July 1996 for letter writing day. The stamp and the Slovenia sheet at the end for ATNs is given here. And then their commemorative stamps 26 by 30 millimeters released on 1996, July 23. Now, Cape Toei, Miyazaki. Miyazaki has got a cape. And uh, it's a prefectural stamp. You can see Cape Toei with the lighthouse is there. And that's a place where there are a lot of horses are uh, there. Now, uh, that is a souvenir sheet that has been released. And it's a 28 by 37 millimeter stamp. Then Yatsukate Mountain horses in Yamanashi are given below. That is 2001. July 2nd was this stamp released. And then you can see the first day cover. This has got nothing to do with these two stamps. But from uh, the cover shows the stamps running, but not the stamp. Now, 25th anniversary of Japan's horse racing and loss enforcement. Horses, bikes, power boats, and motorbikes will all be one thing in common. They are part of a small selection of sports that members of the public are legally able to gamble in Japan. Japan Horse Racing was 1948. Okay, fair and they, they are the people who conduct a very, very unfixed, fair and impartial uh, national racing. Local public racing is governed by partisan prefectures and municipalities and assured by the supervision of the government, Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and fisheries under the horse racing law and uh, this 1948 June 6th stamp was the first stamp on horse racing that is released and on the right you can see a block of four and this stamp was released 1948 June 6th 30 by 20 millimeters it's a brown single color monocolor stamp it's a commemorative stamp and uh, this is Printed by photography. Then 25th athletic meeting. Okay. Horse sport. Keiba. Keiba is horse racing. Horse racing in Japan is very popular equestrian sport. <clears throat> With more than 21,000 horse races held in a year. There are three types of horse racing that take place in Japan. Flat racing, jump racing, and banyan racing, which is also called as draft racing. So one of the equestrian stamp is on the right, 1970 release, October 10, 28 by 28.5 uh, by 39 millimeters, the commemorative stamp. The history of equestrian sports and horse racing in Japan goes back to many centuries, but it was not until the spring of 1862 that the first horse race in recognizably European format was organized by a group of British residents on the area trained marshland just outside a recently opened treaty of Port Yokohama. Horse riding as one of the five disciplines in Pentathlon, where it sits along with shooting, 
running, swimming, and fencing. 50 years of National Golabar Derby. The Tokyo Yusan, which is also called Japanese Derby, Nippon Derby, is a grade one flat race. Okay, you can see that's a, a stamp that was released for the Derby. This stamp was issued on 1983, uh, May 28, 28 by 39 millimeters, multicolor stamp, which is used to release for uh, Derby, first Derby. Okay. And uh, this derby uh, is a horse race for three-year-old thoroughbred colts and fillies run over a distance of 2,400 meters, approximately one mile and four furlongs at the Tokyo race course Fuchu, Tokyo in late May or early June. The first in 1932, the Japanese equivalent to English Epsom Derby. The second leg of the Japanese Triple Crown preceded by Satsuki Show, Japanese equivalent of the English 2000 Guinness, in the middle, late April, followed by Kikusa Show, Japanese equivalent to English 10 Lager Stakes, in the middle of late October. So they are whatever is a thing, actually Japanese following their system and then having uh, races. The 100th Tenno Cup uh, Arsene, Tenno means Emperor. The Tenno Cup is the Emperor's Cup, is the most historical of all the Japanese races. Its origin tracks back to 1880, when Mikado Wa's race was held at the Nigishi, Nigishi race course in Yokohama. From 1905, the race was run under the name of Teishitsu Gusten race, and winner prize was officially granted from Emperor Meiji. Later, the Taishitsu Goshen races were held at officially recognized race courses throughout Japan, including Meguro, Tokyo, and Narawa, Hyogo Prefecture. November 1937, Tenno Show was held at the Tokyo race course, and many of the May of the following year at Hanshin race course. It is then decided to regularly hold the race twice a year, with each year covering a distance of 3,200 meters. In 1947, the spring Tenno show was moved to Kyoto race course, where it has it has remained in Kyoto race course. You can see a block of six uh, with a stamp that means it's a posted uh, thing. And then this stamp was released 1989, October 27, 28 by 39 millimeters commemorative stamp and 68, 62 ends thing. Then. An oversized 36 view of mountain, uh, Mount Fuji is the thing that you see on the uh, right hand side, top corner 1964 stamp. And Japan Racing Association, JRA, is a public company established to operate Chuo Keba, the central horse racing, and to manage race courses, betting facilities, and horse training facilities. It was founded in 1954 according to the horse racing law. Kebaho and the Japan Racing Association law and is operated under strict oversight of the overseers of Japan Agriculture Ministry and Fisheries Japan. Now you can see the Saturnin block of four stamp and uh, issued for the 50th anniversary Golden Jubilee of the Japan Racing Association JRA on 2004, May 28. A 56 by 37 millimeter multicolor Saturn commemorative stamp was issued for that. The Naomori uh, Kazachimo house is a native house. You can see the native house. It looks uh, very different from the other houses. You can see that. Uh, Kazachimo house, Hikpos Ferris Kabulas. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. Cape Shiriazuki. Uh, Shri Yazaki is a part of Shimuoka Honto Kwasi National Park. At the northernmost east edge of Honshu, it features many wetlands and treasured rare flowers and mountain. Built in 1901, the Shri Yazaki Lighthouse was the first electric lighthouse throughout Cape Shri Yazaki. Horses known as Kadachime pastures in the field. These horses are known for having short legs stout frame and endure severe winter in Shimoka Peninsula. These are protected 
and cherish as a perfect as a effectual uh, natural treasure now ours in the 7th and 12th year cycle of animals you know uh, japanese still follow 12 years of the zodiac signs following the chinese tailor the zodiac sign the 7th of the 7th in the 12 year cycle of animals appears to be chinese zodiac sign is related to the chinese calendar which is being adopted in japan also there is a long tradition of horse in chinese mythology let's look into some horse related new year stamps okay mihara goma or angular this one on the right brightly colored wooden toy horse produced by mihara province in fukushima and therefore this uh, stamp a souvenir sheet with a block of four stamp of that and then this is printed in single color red released in 1953 december 25th then these are the other new year cards everything normally they have a stamp and a souvenir sheet you buy the stamp <coughs> and then uh, you also get the souvenir sheet uh, maybe as a uh, Lucky, uh, lucky dip or something, but now I think they are also selling the same. This stamp, the one on Nabo, issued on 1965, December 10. Okay. Now toy horse, decorated toy horse in uh, from Kyoto, Fushimi. It is a 20N stamp that you see, and the miniature card of that. Okay. The miniature sheets which contain New Year greeting stamps were not sold at post offices, but given as prizes at annual. New Year Lottery. That's what I said. This was issued on 1978, January 20th, 94 by 72, a bigger size and multicolor. The New Year greetings horses again, toy horse, paper mache horse in 1990. You have, and then you have a, a 2002 a sage horse in characteristic work of the region of Arai, Niigata Prefecture. Red Horse of Kira Nishio, Aichi Prefecture. It's made from sawdust and seaweed blue. <coughs> That's the one that you. And you can see the size of the stamp is suddenly has increased. The one before that was 1989. This is 2001 onwards. 22 by 26 millimeters. And then this is 25 by 51 millimeters multicolor. You have the number there. On the number, if you win. Then you get that uh, um, miniature sheet as a prize. Now the Tokyo Olympics had uh, sheets, and I marked the Tokyo Olympics 2020, which was held in 2021. Uh, those stamps within the sheet have got horses. I so just mark them here. Those are the horse horses in the uh, sheets that have been issued for the Tokyo Olympics. Old sheets, 2020. Now, horse riding will repeatedly. Uh, this this uh, uh, thing lasts finally. Horse riding will be reportedly be scrapped from the modern pentathlon after controversy exploded around the event during the year's Tokyo Olympics. That's 2020 Olympics. A German coach, Kim Reisner, was booted from the games because vision appeared to be showing her. Vision is that uh, video thing. Show her striking the horse ridden by Anika Shilo, one of the athletes she trains. After a ride went horribly wrong and cost her a shot in the gold medal. Shilo was in tears as horse Saint Boy went rogue. Suddenly, it's almost coming at the, the top top of the line. Suddenly, something went wrong within the mind. After all, horse is a horse and it's the animal. Animal, we do not know when they will go. So it went out of the track. Then she lost the prize, unable to convince him to get around the course for any jump. According to multiple reports, modern pentathlon governing body UIPM has secretly voted to remove horse riding as one of the five disciplines from the sport. A pentathlon is horse riding is one of them, where it sits along with shooting, running, swimming, and fencing, and horse riding. So they are now talking about uh, removing this from the pentathlon. So that's uh, 
the answers in Japanese tabs. Thank you for listening to me. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.